थैंक यू वेरी मच श्री पी रविंद्र बाबू गुड इवनिंग सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग दिस हिस्टोरिक अपॉर्चुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन हिस्टोरिक बिल इन इंडायरेक्ट टैक्सेशन दट इज गुड्स एंड सर्विस टैक्स द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ इंडायरेक्ट टैक्सेशन एज पर द सेंट्रल इंडायरेक्ट टैक्सेशन इज कंसर्न इट इज अनबिलीवेबल फ्रॉम टोबैको एंड सॉल्ट दिस हैज इवॉल्व टू जी एस टी making the india elite hub of manufacturing activity and it is very very important in the context of make in india slogan given by prime minister to make tax administration especially indirect tax administration so smooth so that the world class entrepreneurs world class manufacturers will definitely come to india because gst will definitely pave the way for a smooth tax administration before gst ease of doing business index it was ranking 142 in the world ranking even below the nepal bhutan sri lanka all those countries with one stroke of gst bill our country will catapult into such a position it will become very attractive de destination it will subsume lot of taxes in central Silence, government please. for example central excise duty service tax additional custom duty cvd all those things will be subsumed into central gst and the sales tax octroi municipal taxes and luxury taxes all will be subsumed into state gst there is another gst which is called igst therefore we understand there is a triple levy administered by dual administration there are state officers who will administer this tax there are central officers who will administer this tax as i understand the central gst will be administered by the cbec central board of excise and customs the central board of excise and customs chairman has an record saying that we have never a part of this process of this gst i don't know how the cbec is going to administer the gst if at all if it is interested in this work and the state gst which is run by the state officer i don't know how far they are well aware of this contours of the state gst and especially igst interstate gst which is inflationary in its nature how it is going to be tackled when it is unfolds sir i have small suggestion there is an article 312 which provides for the creation of all india services for like ias and ips which was created in 1947 in 1966 indian forest service is created now i feel there is a need to create irs gst all india service therefore the gst officers can go to states and administer the state gst also central gst also very effectively because these are the cbc irs officers who are well trained in the indirect taxation well trained in the indirect tax collections and they are also well trained the understanding of the notifications litigations prone for example sir in the, in the gst present regime the present scenario which is presented in this bill there is a possibility of central officers knocking the door of a businessman state officers knocking the door of a businessman and the receipt of a intelligence that there is a tax evasion central government officers may not find fault with him state government officers may find fault with him and the tax limit being 10 lakhs there is every possibility he will be hooked on the state government tax rules if the both they book the case central also will try to book the case if they don't book the case it will lead to litigation in the adjudication stage it is not very clear in the bill where is the appellate authority how the adjudication process will be uh, taken place how the result it is going to resolve or is it misuse prone the 10 lakhs limit which is proposed in this bill envisaged in the proposed bill whether it is going to be misused because in service tax people have seen when that limit was put as a 10 lakhs so many people floated so many companies in order to keep themselves under the slab of 10 lakhs therefore the same thing would be repeated to the gst if that happens instead of expecting 1.2 or 1.5 gdp growth we may lose that much back every country man every common man in this country sir looking forward to gst not because of a decoration purpose 
it is going to be anti-inflationary process, it is going to reduce the prices of the commodities, it is going to reduce the prices of the services, and the businessmen also looking for it because it is going to make the tax administration and tax payment so smooth, so easy. Therefore, there is a very enthusiastically people are waiting. I appreciate Finance Minister in pushing this bill very, very restlessly. As my Chief Minister, Mr. Chandrababu Naidgaru, he is also very restless in pushing the economic reforms and he doesn't sleep also more than two, three hours in a night because he believes in unless the country becomes economically strong, no country can progress well. The same way I understand the Prime Minister, understand the Finance Minister in being restless in pushing the GST historic bill because this is the bill which is making the history in India out of 1947 to make the India economically very strong. So let us take this opportunity to bury the difference of political parties and support this bill. If there are any problems faced by the bill, we will definitely take it uh, head on and by creating some tax resolution mechanisms while it unfolds, let us wait for it. Let us not wait for the how to start this uh, me mechanism of uh, resolutions first, then the unfold the bill. Let the bill be unfolded. Resolutions will be automatically in its place, like we have a high courts, we have a supreme courts, we have a lot of tribunals, we have some, so many adjudicators, so many eminent uh, economists and uh, financial advisors. We, uh, we, we don't, let, let's not have any apprehension about the GST. We have been waiting for this bill, sir, historical bill, out of 1947 independence bill. I think this is a, one of the most historical bill to reduce the common man's burden of purchasing the goods and services from the market. And businessmen also is looking for a lot of industrial growth, a lot of industrial setting up, so that employment generation also will be increased. The country is going to get benefited with the introduction of GST, sir. I fully support on behalf of Telugu Desam, on behalf of my colleagues. I also request, beseech upon all my colleagues, let us support the GST bill. Let us not oppose it for the sake of other reasons for political considerations. Mm -hmm. If there are any problems in the amendment, which are, which are irrele irrelevant than the previous uh, amendment bill, uh, 115, the 122 now is the 122 second amendment bill. Let us resolve it by resorting to so many processes, but not, let us not defer it. As finance minister correctly said, by deferring it or by sending it to standing Control, committee, we are going to lose one year, sir. One year is very costly for a poor country like India. So let us make it as early as possible, but let us make tax administration also as smooth as possible by utilizing the best services of Central Board of Excise and Customs, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, Konda Vishwas, sir,